Tech giant Apple is buying Israel-based chip developer PrimeSense. Apple has confirmed the deal but hasn't revealed the numbers. Israeli media report that it's paying around 260 million euros for PrimeSense's innovative technology. The firm was behind the motion sensing device Kinect, used in Microsoft's Xbox 360 games console. It allows players to experience 3D effects. The PrimeSense deal is the latest in a series of Apple purchases of chip developers. This acquisition of PrimeSense for $350 million follows their prior acquisition of Anobit for $400 million. Anobit was the maker of flash memory modules for the iPad. And they've also now announced that they're going to be building a major R&D center here in Israel. So this is yet another commitment of Apple to Israel. Now, Apple is not alone in its commitment to the Israeli tech scene. They're just joining hundreds of other world leaders in technology who've been buying companies here. In fact, there are 300 different world technology leaders who now have R&D centers here. Most of them start their activity here by making multiple acquisitions of Israeli companies. And why do you think that is? What are these startups in Israel doing that have so many of these big tech companies from Silicon Valley coming and shopping? Is it the area that they're concentrating in? Well, I mean, look, we, we are clearly the world's second source of major innovation. When you look at the world, you see a duopoly. There's Israel and there's Silicon Valley. And whether it's in certain areas like 3D visualization or 3D motion sensors, which is Prime Sense's area, we're ahead. We're ahead in 3D printing. We're ahead in all kinds of digital printing. We're ahead in many kinds of social or mapping applications. Whether it's in medical devices or in internet technology or cloud technology or big data and analytics, Israel simply has a huge cluster of technologies each year over 600 Israeli companies are getting venture capital funding. So it's a very, very dense venture capital environment. These companies then grow up, they either get bought, or they actually go public in New York. And one of the interesting things about the New York stock exchanges is that today, Israel represents the third largest country delegation traded in New York. The ranking in New York today is the United States number one, China number two, and Israel number three. It's ridiculous, it makes no sense when you look at our 8 million country population, you say, how come you have so many companies traded or the companies that are being bought? And the answer is simply Israel's secret sauce relative to innovation.